and prediction. What is the difference between the two? One of the classic challenges of literacy teaching is to grasp the difference between inference and prediction. And we know that prediction and inference is also one of the basic science master skills that we are going to study in this lesson. Good day, future researchers! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tim May, your research buddy in this journey. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. Basic science process skills form the foundation of scientific method. And we know that there are six basic science process skills and in our previous lesson vlog, pinag-aralan natin ang pagkakaiba ng observation and measurement. For today's lesson vlog, we will discuss about the third and the fourth uh, basic science process skill which is inference and prediction. We all know that these six basic science process skills are integrated together, especially when scientists design or when they carry out experiments. And even in everyday life, when we are doing a science investigatory project or when we carry out a fair test experiments, we all know that these basic science process skills are individually important and as well as when they are integrated together. So let's find out how these basic science process skills are integrated together. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng inference and prediction? Okay, let us define first inference. So what is inference? Inference is a process of using observation and background knowledge as well as other known premises to determine a conclusion that makes sense. It is deriving conclusion from indication. Ano naman ang prediction? Let us define prediction. Prediction is an educated guess based on good observation about an event or object, or it can be a prior knowledge that has been observed. Prediction is also thinking of the outcome of the future event based on a pattern of proof. Kung ating hihimayin ang definition ng inference and prediction, parehas binanggit ang salitang observation. Ibig sabihin, makakagawa tayo ng inference and prediction based sa ating na obserbahan sa isang bagay or sa isang event. Okay, from this, we can say that every basic science process skill relates to one another and there is an integration of the basic science process skills. Okay, ngayon, unahin natin ulit ang inference. Himayin natin paano ba gumagawa ng inference. There is a process on how we're going to make an inference. Number one, you ask yourself, what did I observe? Number two, what do I already know? Number three, how can my knowledge explain what I observe? And number four, what does this mean? Okay, for example, a child tries a new fruit shake and make a disgusted face. Okay, her mother can assume that the child didn't like the taste of the fruit. Okay, now, let us try to analyze the sentence. Okay, what did you observe? Okay, you observed that the child is making a disgusted face after eating the fruit shake. So, what does it mean? And you know, nakapag-disgusted ang face after eating something, you can conclude that he doesn't like the taste of the fruit. That is inference. Based from our example, how did you say that the child doesn't like the taste of the fruit? Okay, it is because of what you observe. You observe that after eating the fruit, the child makes a disgusted face. So, may mangot ang bata pagkatapos niyang kainin yung fruit. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mo maging conclusion na hindi niya nagustuhan ang lasa kasi hindi siya masaya nung kinain niya yun. Okay, that is inference. We are making conclusion based on what we observe. Okay, let's take another example. Your teacher returned your paper after an examination, and then you notice that your best friend crumpled her paper after receiving the test paper and then cried. Okay, she assumed that her best friend failed. Okay, now, from that example, how can you know uh, which statement is observation and which statement is inference? 
Okay, seeing your best friend crumple the paper and cried, that is observation. While drawing conclusion that he f that she failed the exam is inference. So what is the difference between observation and inference? When we say observation, this is the act of monitoring or watching or examining a person or an event when something is happening. Inference is termed as an act of deriving conclusion based from unknown facts or circumstances. So it is a drawing conclusion based on what we observe. Remember that observation is what one perceives. Well, when we say inference, this is the assumption or explanation of what has been perceived. Take note also that observation is always objective while inference is subjective. Observation involves collection of information without questioning respondents, while inference, it involves taking decision about the collected information. What is prediction? When we say prediction, it is an educated guess based on good observation or event or it's a prior knowledge that has been observed. Take note of the word educated guess. A guess, it means hula sa Tagalog. Ibig sabihin, nag-iisip tayo what could be the possible thing that will happen after observing a certain object or a certain event. It is a guess of what might happen in the future after making a good observation. So, ano kaya ang pwedeng mangyari pagkatapos mong masaksihan ng isang bagay na ito? Let's say, for example, a low-pressure form near the Philippine area of responsibility. So, what can be your prediction? So, pwede nating sabihin na we can predict that typhoon might occur. And based from that example, alam mo naman na ang bagyo ay namumuo kapag merong low pressure. And since ito ang na-observe ng pag-asa that there is a low pressure that is forming in the Philippine area of responsibility, so pwedeng ang mapredict nila ay merong bagyo. Another example, I was beaten by a mosquito. What could be your prediction? We can predict that, ah, I might get dengue. Kasi alam mo, na ang dengue ay galing sa kagat ng lamok. Okay, that is prediction. We are thinking of what might happen in the future after watching this event. Okay, another example, you are watching Miss Universe Philippines. Okay, and then habang nanonood ka, napanood mo at narinig mo na ang ganda ng sagot ng isang contestant. So for example, si Rabia, napanood mo na ang ganda ng kanyang sinagot. So pwede mo sabihin, ah, she will win the Miss Universe Philippines. Okay, take note of the word, she will win. So ibig sabihin, you are predicting that Rabia will win after hearing the words or after hearing her answer. Take note that when we are doing prediction, okay, we are guessing about the future. So, ang iniisip natin, ano ang mangyayari sa future after observing this event. Now, what is the similarities between inference and prediction? So, we can conclude that prediction and inference, parehas lang sila na they are based on observation. And remember that while prediction and predict are usually based from some sort of fact, uh, experience, observation, or scientific reason, this meaning behind these words does not necessarily mean that there is a definite certainty of occurring. Kaya nga sinabi, di ba, na uh, scientific guess. Kumbaga, ito ay hula lamang. Pwedeng mangyari, pero pwedeng hindi mangyari. Something that someone predicts may or may not actually happen. A good example of everyday prediction is the weather forecast. What is forecasted and predicted is based on scientific evidence, but it is not a known certainty. It is just a probability. Again, to generalize, let us define again observation, inference, and prediction. Our lesson vlog. I hope you learned something from me. Again, this is Teacher Tin May, 
and stay tuned on our YouTube channel because for the next lesson vlog, we're going to discuss the fifth basic science process skill, which is classifying. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates and research. See you on my next vlog. Bye!